Hey everybody, it's Roger Williams with Roger Williams Media. Wanted to talk with you really quickly today about Google Places for Business. Had a great conversation tonight at the Arizona Biltmore. Cleo put on a little get together for lawyers and Ryan was there, he's one of the founders, really cool guy. Clio is a law firm practice software management solution in the cloud, and they really sound like they know what they're doing. So a couple of other people there was uh, Law Firm Velocity, Paul and Mary, as well as Cindy Castillo from CastilloLawPhoenix.com. And one of the things that Paul brought up was frustration he was having with getting his Google Places for Business listing verified. That gosh darn postcard was not showing up in the mail. I told him I felt his pain. I've been through it with quite a few clients. The good news is, is that Google has been offering phone support for a little while, and today I discovered that they've stepped it up a whole nother notch and made it even more available. So back in January, Mike Blumenthal, who is like the super guru of local SEO, had this little post about how Google's not providing phone support verification. Now, back then you had to go through a couple of different steps, had to click on having problems, and we waited 15 days, blah, blah, blah. And then you could finally get someone to call you. The good news is that now you can basically get someone to call you right away. You don't have to really, you know, mess around too much. Uh, what you need to do is log into your Places for Business account where you've already started verifying. Either you've got an existing account that Google had created and you're coming in here to verify it, or you're creating a whole new one. Either way, go through the part of requesting that whole pin and saying, hey, send me that postcard. As soon as you've done that, come over here to this little gear box, click on that, hit help, and this little help box kind of pops up. Now, during the daylight hours, there's gonna be a link right here for phone. Click on that, give it your phone number, and Google calls you. Hold on to your seat, I just said it, Google will call you. Now that link's not there right now, if you click on this help center link right here, another tab opens up, there's a red button here for contact us, and you will see that from Monday to Friday, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific, they are available by phone. This is in the U.S. only, so if you're not in the U.S., I'm sorry. But um, it might be in all English-speaking countries at this point, but uh, I'm only in the U.S., so I can only verify that. In this case, you click Call Us here, and as you can see, there's a place to put your phone number, and put that in, and they call you. Now, they're gonna do some simple verification. They ask for the email address on the account, so just make sure you go ahead and log in there. In one instance, the operator asked me to go into the listing and add the web address for the company domain name, which is associated with the email address here, and that served as verification for him. And then, at that point, he went ahead and just automatically verified the listing for me and helped me through a couple other questions that I had. Now, a couple of hints here is, first of all, when you set up this Google Places account, make sure you're using an email address that is on your company domain name. It just simplifies things for verification purposes because that domain name on the email matches the domain name of your website, which it just simplifies everything. So do that as best you can. Also make sure that this is the same account that your AdWords and your analytics and all your other Google stuff is set up on, including YouTube, and then you will have a unified situation. Now another little tidbit for lawyers and doctors. You are a practitioner. Google treats you a little bit differently. This means that there will be a Google Places listing not only for your law firm, but there will also be a Google Places listing for you, the lawyer. Or in the case of a doctor, there will be a listing for your practice and a listing for you, the doctor. This includes all of the lawyers and doctors that work at your firm. They're all going to have their own business places listing in Google, whether you like it or not. So as a business owner, I recommend that you accept this fate that Google has enforced on you and just learn to live with it. It's gonna help everybody else in the end, it will reduce confusion, um, and it just, it, it's just, it's how it's gonna be, so don't fight it. That's what I've got for you. If you have any questions, feel free as always to email me. I'm roger at rogerwilliamsmedia.com and the comments are down below. It's YouTube, of course. I love hearing from you. Um, let me know if you have questions. Let's talk it out. Uh, other than that, 
Fourth of July is coming up soon. I don't know if I'm going to do another one of these before then. So if I don't, I'll talk to you later.